Teddy, and we are starting with Ryan Reynolds, who announced on Instagram that he's taking a little sabbatical from movie making after wrapping his latest film, Spirited. So what do we think about the idea of sabbaticals? Teddy, let's start with you. Well, I mean, Ryan Reynolds can do whatever he wants as long as he can continues <laughs> to play Deadpool. As long as he comes back <laughs> to the character of Deadpool, he can go off and do whatever he wants. I think the fact that this is even a story is kind of indicative of how interested we are in Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively and how much we love them. Because, I mean, the latest rumors are that Deadpool, the next film, is going to start filming at the end of next year. So he's really just taken like a year to be a parent. He's got three <laughs> daughters, as you know. So um, to me, it's like, yeah, do, do whatever you want. I think uh, taking a sabbatical, the sting is probably taken out of it a little bit if you're millionaires like they are. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but I, I really love them as a couple. I love how they troll each other online. She had a really funny response uh, to him uh, announcing this as well, saying that Michael Caine just did it, you know? And uh, I really love following their little barbs back and forth. So yeah, go do whatever you want, Ryan Reynolds. And he's a smart, interesting guy. I think he owns like a football club. He's got a booze company. He just bought an ownership stake in a in a telecom or a cell phone company. So not every actor I would be fascinated to see what they do at this time, but he, I, I really am, because he's clearly a smart, um, capable person. So yeah, have fun, Ryan Reynolds, but just come back to Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, is he, is he at all, does anybody think that maybe he's making us miss him on purpose a little bit? I think uh, celebrities might be a little guilty of being overexposed perhaps from time to time. Is this a way to build it? Because like Teddy, you said, he's going to be all right. He's clearly like not stopping working. He's got a lot of stuff yeah. on the go. Uh, but can, is this going to make us miss him a little bit so that when Deadpool does come back, he is manufacturing us missing him? I think that this I is an exaggeration. I Reynolds every day. <laughs> You miss him. <laughs> I miss him every day. I wish there was a news story about he and and Blake Lively every single day because they just make me happy. So I definitely will miss him, but it's happening already. I'm not sure that this is. I think that the, him taking a sabbatical is a sabbatical from acting, meaning he may not be on a set with a script playing a different character. But as Teddy mentioned, he has so much going on, yeah. including the football club. He owns a professional mm -hmm. football club um, in the UK and they're actually filming a Ted Lasso-style reality show about his ownership of the football club. So we will see cool. Ryan Reynolds. He's active on Twitter. He's active on Instagram. You know, don't worry. You're going to get your Ryan Reynolds content, everybody. Well, well and this yeah. is, and it's what Melissa said, and he wants us to, to miss him more. To me, that's kind of selfish, because who doesn't love Ryan Reynolds, and he needs more of our love? Take it easy, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> quickly you need turn, more love, How Teddy. quickly you turn, I Teddy. think it's Absolutely. I think it's interesting to think about sabbaticals in general because, like, I, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but, like, I'd like a sabbatical. Like, imagine, really, the only realm that actually does sabbaticals, I think, is really academia. Like, you know, I have friends who are university professors, and they get every few years, they get a year off paid to do work and research and produce stuff. I mean, this, I feel like way back in the day, a bunch of old dudes like, I don't know, Socrates, Plato, were like, hmm, let's establish <laughs> something right out of the gate so that we can just take some time to ourselves to think. And I mean, who else can afford to do this? But I, for one, would love this. And I wonder if there are certain companies who could think about this, maybe not giving a year off, because that's probably not affordable to pay for employees to do this, but even smaller mini sabbaticals to be like, hey, what are you interested in? Where are you not feeling like you're getting massaged? Not literally, but figuratively. And how can we facilitate maybe some time off to go away and, you know, do some creative ventures and produce them? I think you would come back with a better employee. Well, you know, you got me thinking, think Sin, because I was saying that there were a lot of people who were, I'm going to call it a forced sabbatical over this pandemic because a lot of people who were laid off and didn't mm -hmm. want to be um, and maybe they were collecting some kind of assistance from the government and they were literally sitting there at home thinking about their entire lives like literally and we've actually seen to your point Cynthia the repercussions of that the consequence is now a lot of people deciding not to go back to their old jobs they've asked the big questions like what is life what is my meaning what is my purpose which I think is what mm -hmm. a really good sabbatical should do it should really open your eyes make you explore and I think if an employer I think they should listen to you sin if an employer wants to attract talent good talent and keep them this might be one of the perks hey a well, paid month-long sabbatical cool. here and there yeah. 
to allow people, and I worked at a company once where they called them stages. I took a stage and I yeah, loved a it. But essentially, <laughs> they let people go and work in different departments. So I think mm. if we could take oh. this a step further and say, what if you could just go work in a completely different job for three months, six months, up to a year, and have your job to come back to? Because can I just tell you this? Like, I'm a comedian, I'm an actor, that's what I do. But I've always secretly and maybe not so secretly wanted to spend multiple months as a truck driver. Oh, and what? Me I too. Really hate, I, okay, Teddy, you and I are going on the road. I swear. Like, what a difference. I see it, a it's show. meditative. I see you get a on show. the road. Yeah. Right? A reality show. This would be great. And it's different. It's just like, it's a, now my, that job would be like, you take, you know, this, this load from point A to point B and your job is done. You feel good. You've accomplished something. There's no auditions. There's no late nights and there's no going on stage. Can I like, just say, I, I'm funny. sorry. What a um, joy. Uh, our team members are already in our earpieces saying, oh, please let us produce this show. <laughs> We're on to something. <laughs> I'm in. I call, I'm in. I call shenanigans on both you because you guys both like an audience, <laughs> clearly. Um, and I, the one thing you're not going to get in a truck is any audience. No oh, audience truck there. stops are no happening, one. Sin. I don't know. Yes. I just said it on what the CB. What exactly is happening audience. at the truck stop? There's a lot happening at truck right. stops. That's a show, too. Well, yeah. well, and if you ever, okay. if you ever want a sabbatical, work on an international travel show during a global pandemic. Then you'll get, of course, sabbatical. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs>